Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum this is Rustam and today I'm going to record a lecture for BS English third semester students who are studying uh, introduction to linguistics introduction to linguistics is a course uh, being taught at Abbottabad University of Science and Technology and Hazara University uh, Mansera in Hazara division maybe some other universities are also offering this course to BS English third semester students so in today's talk, uh, topic i'll talk about <coughs> design features of <coughs> sorry design features of human language so human language uh, uh, like it's a you know unique phenomenon that uh, human beings have been given this faculty of speech and uh, not only they speak a uh, language and uh, then they also transfer it to other medias like writing system braille system and uh, you know sign language so this uh, unique uh, faculty which has been uh, gifted uh, to homo, homo sapiens uh, is uh, you know uh, you know it it hasn't got any parallel with other communication system like animal communication systems so uh, in this video lecture i'll talk about nature of human language okay so uh, let's move on uh before you uh before i proceed further i would like to announce an important note here that uh, <coughs> if you find video quality a bit blurred so you, what you what you can do if you are watching it at android phone so to the right top corner there are three dots and uh, click on them and then enhance video quality to higher uh, pixel level and if you are watching it on laptop or desktop computer so just uh, uh, below the uh, video uh, window uh, on youtube there is a you know setting button uh, we like setting button so you can click on it and enhance video quality second the audience of this uh, uh, you know uh, video lecture is bs english third semester uh, students so it, it is an introductory course to english uh, uh, sorry linguistics uh, sorry linguistics so uh, this lecture has been uh, prepared after consulting these three important books George Hughes book Study of Language, Jan Aitchison book Linguistics and Intro Introduction, and Dr. Tarek Rahman's book Linguistics for Beginner uh, Basic Concepts. Mostly, I have been consulting uh, these uh, two books, and there is another book which I have consulted in order to prepare this lecture. That is uh, Psycholinguistics, uh, uh, and that too has been written by uh, Jan Aitchison. Okay. So uh, the data has been gathered from all these books, and then uh, I have prepared this lecture. So if you want to uh, read yourself, so you need to get a PDF copy of these books. Uh, okay, I'm gonna share link in the video description. You can download these three books as well. <coughs> now what is language there are various definitions about language okay and uh, language cannot be properly defined here i have mentioned only two definitions and uh, you can see a language is a communication system which uses arbitrary symbols uh, symbolic signs okay arbitrary symbolic signs i'll discuss this important topic that is what is arbitrariness and what is uh, symbolism and what is sign uh, when I move to uh, uh, another slide in which I'll discuss features, uh, unique features of human language and in which I'll cover up arbitrariness. Another uh, definition <coughs> of language is that it is a specialized sound signaling system. We use sounds in human language. Okay, Like whenever we utter words or sentences, basically words and senten sentences, they have been composed of... Uh, sounds when I say this uh, is this is my uh, book actually this sentence has got four words but these words as you can see on the screen uh, let me change the color so these words are actually these words are actually uh, uh, you know sounds okay let's say this it is a sound like this this okay uh, just a minute uh, like this this we have three sounds is this word has got uh, another uh, meaning 
so we can represent this word is like this is okay and my my can be represented uh, let me again click here my you can see my is a diphthong uh, like it has got two sounds one is consonant another one is a diphthong this is my book and book has got three sounds as you can see on the screen book uh, this is consonant this is vowel sound and this is consonant sound so uh, the language is basically sound okay it is a specialized uh, uh, it is a specialized sound signaling system and that appears to be genetically programmed to develop in humans that is we have been given a language acquisition device okay language acquisition device that all human babies uh, when they are put in a surrounding that is cultural setting they will they will definitely acquire language because they have got this uh, a blueprint in their minds and they have a language uh, learning a language acquisition apparatus given by uh, the supreme cre uh, supreme being that is god or allah so uh, we this language is developed but we need initial input from the surrounding or from our setting otherwise uh, every human being uh, he or she according to chomskyan theory they have got this uh, language uh, acquisition ability so anyhow it boils uh, boils down to this that language is uh, symbolic it uses symbolic signs and uh, you know it is uh, the symbols we use they are uh, symbolic signs and these signs like uh, we say ba we say th okay so these sound like in english we have 44 uh, basic uh, uh, sounds and in urdu we have 57 basic sounds so using this limited set and what do we do we arrange them into patterns which are known as word patterns and these word patterns uh, then give us uh, syntactical patterns and this way we generate lot of meaning and we communicate okay uh, uh, if we want to know what language is or what are uh, what is its design or what is its structure so just definitions don't suffice okay we have to look at some other ways to know more about human language so very interesting uh, you know why we say so because uh, uh, we can communicate uh, in numerous other ways like we can wink at someone we can wave a hand we can yawn which indicates that we are uh, we we want sleep we can smile and convey a message and even uh, these ways to communicate can be transferred to other ways like uh, uh, we can use written symbols which is not spoken language we can use a braille system that is tactile system the people who are specialized special persons who don't have uh, you know eyesight they uh, touch their fingers on a you know a special paper known as braille system and this way they can read and communicate and sign languages but uh, in today's lecture i'll do i won't talk about this type of communication system i'll talk about sounds uh, the language basically uses sound so let's talk about sounds okay charles uh, hockett american linguist uh, you know he gave uh, a series of lectures uh, stretching over 10 years okay in which he talked uh, in in depth about defining features of language he said that only one definition uh, wasn't uh, suffice and it is not sufficient and adequate in order to you know define language so he gave a uh, you know uh, about 16 uh, you know uh, items design features of human language and uh, uh, he compared even human uh, communication system that is language with animal communication system so basically he mentioned seven uh, you know uh, peculiar uh, features which are only found in human communication system and remaining features uh, are common between uh, animal communication system and human communication system so uh, let's move on to defining features of language okay these are known as design features of language or we can call them properties of human language or characteristics of human language so human language has many uh, you know characteristics many properties and many design features these features have been divided into two groups group number one uh, group number two in group number one i have shown 
यूनिक फीचर्स आर कोर फीचर्स आर की की फीचर्स दैट इज वाई आई कॉल दैम यूनिक कोर आर की फीचर्स बिकॉज दे आर फाउंड ओनली इन ह्यूमन कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम ओके आल दो दीज फीचर्स आर फाउंड इन एनिमल कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम बट द डिग्री ऑफ प्रेजेंस इन एनिमल कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम इज नॉट सो यू नो पवेसिव एंड नॉट सो फोर्सफुल सो ओनली ह्यूमन पोजेस दीज फीचर्स ह्यूमन कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम एंड दिस इनकलूड्स डिसप्लेसमेंट डुअलिटी डिस्क्रीटनेस कल्चरल ट्रांसमिशन आबिट्रेरीनेस productivity and structure dependence so now next set is common features uh, common design features okay and these features are uh, vocal auditory channel okay we use uh, vocal symbols and uh, then we hear these sounds using auditory mechanism present in our mind and brain so uh, reciprocity okay uh, rapid fade uh, prevarication and the prevarication uh, Uh, is also found uh, in human uh, communication system. Anyhow, non-directionality, specialization, turn-taking, semanticity, and spontaneous uh, usage. So these are about sixteen uh, features, uh, which uh, you know uh, define the design of human language. So when we look at these features uh, one by one, then we can you know uh, talk about what language is. Okay. so in today's video lecture i won't discuss all these uh, design features so this is part 1 of this uh, series and maybe i have to record uh, more uh, video lectures to cover all these features so let's uh, start with the uh, displacement okay what is displacement so human communication system uh, has the ability to refer to things far removed in time and place okay we humans uh, can can communicate about things which are absent as well as present or you can say we can communicate about past events and future events now this lacks uh, or you can say animal communication system lacks this uh, this uh, ability that's ability of displacement animal communication system is designed only for this moment here and now our immediate environment okay like uh, animals can't relate events far removed in time and place uh, let's say you know we can talk about our past we can uh, just uh, go back into our imagination we can talk about future things but a dog or cat uh, when it uses uh, signals or uh, message signals it can uh, communicate only uh, about uh, the immediate environment or what happened uh just uh, you know a short while ago okay uh, so uh, let let me give you an example that in even in uh, animal communication system uh, there is a degree of displacement uh, le let me give you an example in this slide that uh, worker b when uh, you know it wants to inform other bees about the source of nectar or you can say source of food so what does it do it just comes back after finding a, a source a source of food now it returns to the bee hive and it communicates this information to other bees uh, using a complex dance okay now if the dance is round one it indicates the food source is nearby it is located nearby other bee bees uh, get communicated and if uh, there is a waggle dance okay in which tail wagging happens are the uh, worker bee what does it do it wiggles uh, the tail from side to side when it wiggles the tail from side to side or waves the uh, tail from side to side it is an indication to other bees that uh, the source of food is placed horizontally that is it is far away it is far away now the uh, other bees what do they do they can get the distance as well as the direction from the tempo of the uh, tail wagging and from uh, you know just uh, they uh, what should uh, what do they do they thus they knows the scent available at the body of the worker bee and this way they get to the source of uh, you know food which is located far away 
so in a way in some anim anim animal communication system degree of displacement is available <coughs> <coughs> sorry but it is limited okay it is just limited because uh, a human in such situation can talk you know exactly uh, like uh, a person a boy can say okay i have seen a source of food which is located uh, let's say 3 kilometers in the north and over the mountains etc so a human communication system has this ability to uh, 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 you know relate events uh, very uh, you know events in the past are they are removed from the present location but this uh, property or this uh, design feature is not available in animal communication system so next uh, important feature which is a unique feature or you can say which is uh, only key features of human communication system and not available in animal communication system is known as double r uh, double articulation or duality so human language uh has been organized at two levels or layers okay level 1 and level 2 let me uh, first mention level 1 isolated sounds every human language has got a set of basic sounds a stock of basic sounds and uh, this stock is known as discrete or uh, distinct sounds like we can say these are english sounds mm ba okay a so these are english sounds and english has got basic uh, uh, sounds known as phonemes 44 phonemes okay and urdu has got 57 phonemes these phonemes are these basic sounds are major sounds are meaningless in isolation like it doesn't uh, give any meaning when we say m mm, r we say p r we say b okay like b in urdu are uh, b in english so they don't have any meaning but when uh, they are organized level 2 when they these sounds are combined as you can see now they have meaning okay we can say if we com uh, combine them in this sequence okay now this is nib okay nib of a pen and if we organize them in this sequence let me show you here like this so it has got another meaning bin okay the, this is a different word so you can see in isolation they don't have any meaning but when they are joined together they have meaning so human language has been designed on two layers in contrast uh, let me first uh, read this uh, uh, this uh, bullet that individual sound becomes meaningful only when combined with other phonemes so uh, human uh, communication system Uh, uses symbols which are flexible okay and with a limited set of distinct sounds like 44 these are limited our urdu sound they are 57 it is a limited set what do we do we can produce large number of sound patterns that is words you can see the whole english language uh, has been built using these 44 phonemes and we have hundred and thousand and billions of words english words and so goes with the urdu as well okay so but let us compare uh, uh, animal communication system do they also have uh, this duality i think no because they have uh, just fixed stock of vocal signals okay limited like a cow has got 10 uh, sounds and uh, in correspondence uh, it it can communicate only 10 messages 10 sounds 10 messages Uh, before i proceed further let me talk about uh, english language system english language system has got 44 uh, basic sounds but the messages we convey with these 44 sounds they are unlimited we don't convey only f uh, 44 messages we join these uh, you know sounds in a different patterns and we alternate their you know sequence and we keep on producing so many word words and then sentences so uh, our uh, stock of basic sound is capable to communicate uh, a huge number of messages but uh, let's compare this with uh, human animal communication system a chicken has got 20 basic sound and it can communicate only 20 messages a fox has got 30 basic sound 
cicadas, uh, insect like uh, you know creatures. It has got only four uh, you know symbols and four uh, vocal symbols and uh, it can communicate only four messages. Okay, and verbal verbal monkeys they have got thirty six uh, you know basic sounds and they can communicate only thirty six messages. Sometimes. Uh, Vervet monkeys uh, also, you know, uh, arrange these sounds in uh, in two combinations or three combinations, but still it is limited. And dolphins they use twenty to thirty basic sounds, and their number of messages also consist uh, only of twenty to thirty messages. Now, in contrast, we can say that. Uh, uh number of basic sounds in english or urdu or any language of the world is also around about 20 to 30 average or you can say 30 to 40 in average uh, on an average but human languages are capable to communicate uh, unlimited number of messages now uh, the third uh, unique property uh, of human communication system or human language is uh, it's uh, you know when we change a phoneme there's a change of meaning so discreteness that is human sounds are meaningfully distinct occurrence of one rather than the other in a sound sequence causes meaning change let me give you an example here's a word tip and sip as you can see these two sounds are same but as soon as we change uh, this uh, ta with this sound what happened when s replaces uh, ta creating a new word so we can say uh, just remove this ta and bring this one and what happens sip this is another word and tip is another word just by the change of one phoneme or one sound we have brought another meaning okay same goes here urdu word Kal with a zabar and kul with a pesh. So kal and kul. Actually kal is written like this. Kal and kul is written like this. Okay. Let me change the color. Okay. So here we as you can see this is uh, this consonant and this consonant they are same. And this consonant and this consonant they are same. Just we have changed one phoneme here. That is vowel sound. Zabar and Pesh. What happened? Kal. Kal has a different meaning in Urdu. And Kul has a different meaning in Urdu. Like Kal hum bazaar jayenge. Or Kal hum ne match khela. Or Kul. Kul mila kar uh, gyara khiladi thay. Kul. Total. So you know by changing one phoneme. That is one vowel sound. There is a change of meaning. And here is a word in Hindu or Punjabi. So you can say uh, see manji 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 and ganji let's say gan ganji ganji okay uh, let me again uh, transcribe it meem noon and jeem and j manji now we have gaf noon jeem and jeem just a minute jeem and j now just this phoneme has been changed okay because even zabar that is vowel sound it is same ganji manji now these are two different words in punjabi or sraiki or hindko or pathwari so this word this phoneme gaf and meem they have been changed and uh, we have got two different meanings so this feature of uh, human language is known as discreteness that with change of one phoneme we get the change of meaning a new altogether a new word now last because uh, in the next video lecture i'll uh, cover other features so here is cultural transmission very interesting that uh, humans pass on or hand down their language from one generation to the other okay so we may uh, you know inherit brown eyes from our parents okay that is parental genes they may get transferred to us we may you know inherit uh, uh, black hair or you know our physique you know you see if the parents are uh, short eyed their children are short eyed 
if parents uh, have got you know uh, whitish complexion mostly uh, children will have whitish complexion and uh, if they have got black hair uh, you know uh, progeny or offspring they will also have black hair so these features we may inherit from our parents they may get transferred in us through parental gene but language is not transferred okay why let's say a human child who is brought up in isolation after getting uh, born the boy is removed from the parents or from the uh, surrounding or from the culture and it is taken to a place away from adults okay and uh, just uh, after few years uh, he or she will lose the faculty of speech will not be able to speak if uh, the if the language had been transferred uh, through a parental gene uh, so this child would have spoken but as language is acquired in a culture okay we acquire language in a culture with other speakers and not from parental genes okay so uh, uh we need to you know after getting born we have to be uh, we have to live in a culture okay in a surrounding uh although we uh, according to noam chomsky theory we do have a language uh, you know uh, faculty uh, basic apparatus we have been gifted and uh, we have the uh, uh, programming inside our brains but that uh, programming enables us to learn a language okay but it doesn't uh, enable us to learn a particular or specific language let's say i want to uh, my children uh, they have to they have the capability because i am a hindu speaker so my children have the capacity to learn a uh, language but not hindu because after getting born if they don't receive hindu input from siblings from me from my spouse from people uh, living uh, in close vicinity so the child will never speak hindu because hindu is tra not transferred genetically that i am a hindu speaker so my children will always speak hindu no the hindu will be acquired in a cultural setting it is a cultural transmission language human language is learned through cultural transmission so if someone adopts a child from me and takes it to let's say peshawar and mardan and the dominant language in those areas is pashto so my child born uh, uh, to me uh, will speak only hindko uh, sorry only speak pashto because uh, 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 if uh, we can't say that he uh, as the child was born to hindko speaking uh, uh, parents so it must speak hindko no because hindko is not transferred genetically okay so hope uh, the idea uh, has got conveyed uh, to the audience that human language is always uh, you know uh, transferred culturally so it is not uh, you know uh, rad, uh, we use a term known as uh, handing down or pass on we pass on we hand down okay so it is not genetically transferred now let's compare this with uh, animal communication system animals they are genetically they use genetically inbuilt communication system okay they their uh, communication system is instinctive and not learned so we learn a language we learn or acquire a language okay so but human child uh, sorry animal uh, children or an uh, animals progeny they don't learn it okay birds reared in isolation sing songs like birds uh, which were you know brought up which were reared okay which, uh, which were taken away from their parents and they were reared in isolation when, when they grew up they started singing songs although the song uh, sung they were not very perfect there was abnormality in those song but still they were speaking uh, it means the system was uh, genetically transferred so a uh, a uh, work a bee honey bee b8 in america b8 in usa b uh, sorry b8 in england uh, holland b8 in east or west it has to you know buzz and uh, uh you know uh, but human sapiens if removed and uh, reared and brought up in isolation they will not speak language okay so we can say that humans uh sorry uh, animals uh, system it uh, does not have any learning okay there is a degree of learning uh, but usually most of animal signals or animal uh, uh, communication system it is instinctive it is based on instinct 
but human system does not uh, is not based on instinct okay we have to learn a language in a cultural setting so so far i have covered uh, only uh, four uh, you know properties of language let me show you this is a list as you can see here so i have just covered displacement duality discreteness and cultural transmission displacement mean that humans are capable to talk about past and future we can talk about things which are removed from us like i live in avilia i can talk about things which surround me which are located in the immediate environment but i can also talk about things which are in karachi or which are in lahore uh, okay and uh, this is a unique uh, feature of human communication system duality human language uh, works uh, are it is organized at two levels level 1 is distinct sounds like ba pha tha kha a e so these are uh, basic sounds of english 44 sound this is one level we utter them but when we utter them in isolation they are meaningless but when they we put them together like we say uh, like now t and a and p now tip this is one uh, combination now we can say p a t pit this is another combination now they have become meaningful so we join uh, these sounds in uh, sound patterns so this is second uh, level duality discreteness mean when we change a phoneme we get another meaning okay if you have a uh, tip okay and when you say pit okay so meaning is change okay uh, uh, now this phoneme and this phoneme we have got different meaning and cultural transmission just covered and in the next video lecture i'll talk about arbitrariness productivity and structure dependence and then another uh, lecture will be recorded to cover these three uh, uh, four uh, uh, features and then last this so it's a series of lecture you are requested to listen to these lectures uh, in tandem and uh, uh, what is uh, you know i'm talking about design features of human language okay because it's a course uh, uh, you know uh, recommended for bs english third uh, students studying at government degree college havelia so uh, our topic is design features of language or you can say properties of uh, human language or characteristics of human language so inshallah in the next video lecture i'll talk about remaining features of human language and uh, before i uh, you know call it a day i would like to mention the sources which i'm using these three works uh, you know i'm uh, using in these video lectures uh, jarjul study of language this book uh, has been copied uh, and it has been uh, photocopied and given to students and uh, already uh, they are uh, studying it hopefully so it is chapter 3 of jarjul book which i am uh, discussing and as far as ya uh, ichson uh, is concerned so in chapter 2 of uh, her book Uh, uh she discusses what is language okay so ya ishan's book uh, the uh, title of the book is linguistic uh, linguistics and introduction and dr tarak rahman uh, uh, talks about various things related to linguistics for beginners so uh, i'm going to give uh, the share the link of these uh, video uh these book pdf uh, books even you can download these books from pdf drive uh, z library and uh, you know bookfi.en.bookfi.net so uh, you can read yourself and there are few other uh, you know uh, youtubers who have you know placed videos on these uh, you know topics so uh, my way of learning english is this that one should listen to every uh, presenter and every lecturer and every uh, you know resource person and take notes and then read yourself and always consult original works and don't depend upon notes okay and this way ultimately you are going to have a basic or uh, you know fundamental idea of basic concepts of uh, so many uh, basic terms related to linguistics thank you very much